you know, you stomp it. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Whoo! It's like a roller coaster. Holy crap! Super quick. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to get behind the wheel of this 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E GT. Now, of course, guys, if you know, uh, if you follow my channel, my first video that I did on my this YouTube channel, Peter's Auto Blog, was a Ford Mustang Mach E. Now, that one's basically when he first came out, the demo model that was the dual motor with the extended range battery, which I really love. It was my first time driving an electric vehicle, which I really, really enjoyed. Now, this one that we have here, guys, with us here is the Mach E GT. Now, this is the performance version of that Mach E or the Mustang Mach E electric SUV. Now, really like it, really love the styling. Now, obviously, Ford has done you know a great job with the styling of this Mach E. I really like this in the first since I first saw it. Very stick design obviously this mach -E gt has a little bit of different flavor to it obviously we got bigger 20 inch wheels these are performance wheels obviously we got some big brembo brakes right behind as you can see that's a red caliper we got a little deeper front spoiler here at the front as you can see guys much more sleeker much more aerodynamic we do have a lighted pony here in the very on the front hood. this is basically a little trademark of the ford mustang mach -E gts you will not see it on the regular mach -E. so we got of course led lighting on the front headlights side device all that it's all this lead is, uh, lighting this one here guys is done in a space white, which is an awesome color it's kind of like a grayish white very very beautiful looking it's got some metallic into it love the wheels i love the styling of this mach -E. it's just uh did a ford did a really good job with this one here of course we come into the back we got those mustang styled rear tail lights uh we got the gt bash here as you can see and really really nice you know, really interesting what ford has done with this mach -E. now this one cool. here guys is equipped with basically the dual motors extended range battery but this one got an enhanced front motor in total we got 480 horsepower 600 pound feet of torque to all the all-wheel drive system that's in this Ford Mach-E. Obviously all-wheel drive is being that they have there's a motor in the front motor in the rear so it's basically an electronic all-wheel drive system basically independent there's no drive shaft or anything like that but uh, it is a cool a good system overall. Now of course guys this is being performance oriented we do have basically 15.2 it's like 15 inch rotors here in the front with four piston Brembo calipers but of course you can see we got the Continental all season performance tire here this is basically 235 millimeter tires 20 inch wheels so it's the same all around we got the maki 4x here because that kind of this thing is that it is all with drive model uh, so you know if you look at it for the first time it is smaller it's not as big as it looks kind of has similar in size of a ford escape or just a little sleeker i uh, love the design i love this you know aero wheels which are look this are basically your base wheels for the maki gt which are really awesome five spoke we first you can see the big brembo calipers and brakes right behind it that 15.2 inch rotor in the front so i really love so I love the, the sleekness of this model. It really looks good. I love this line that the, you know Ford incorporated this black line, which kind of makes it look sleeker. Now this one is not equipped with the panoramic sunroof. And the Mach-E GT, I see that I see on the model that you can get it as an option. So and you might be able to get us the hard roof on this one. I'll put that information guys up on the screen to make sure which roof you can get. I know it might be an option to get the uh, panoramic sunroof on this GT. Nice. So really obviously awesome let's go one. open up the hatch guys. Here we have the regular key as you can see. It's just basically your regular Ford key as anybody has a Ford will be familiar with as I am as well. As I'm a Ford escape owner. Now of course let's go ahead guys and open up the back hatch. So a couple of clicks on the button will open up your hatch. It's really nice. We got a couple of LED lights here for lighting it's a pretty good decent sized trunk space obviously we got about 30 cubic feet of us uh, of uh, storage space here in the back now, as you can see this one's got some uh, rubber floor mats here on the bottom it looks like mucky rubber floor mats basically looks like factory floor mats that are back here now, as i mentioned this is a slightly used model with about 8,000 miles on it but it's still pretty much brand new as you can see guys so pretty nice the size of that let's go ahead and just uh, drop that up guys you can see the hatch up goes back down really nice so plenty of space here in the back guys let's go ahead and take a quick look at the rear space here 
So we open up a little, as you can see guys, there's no handle on these, on these small keys. So obviously you have to just kind of use, now there is a little pad here so you can grab the door. That's kind of integrated into the design. So here we go guys, inside we have the black onyx interior. Now this has got the copper stitching, which is really awesome. And of course, this is part of the GT Perform and GT package. So as you see, we do have a center armrest here as well. We do have some AC outlets and a couple of USB connections there as well. So it's really good, it's not bad. If in terms of room, it's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. Oh, I'll hit my head a little bit. Now this seat's set back a little bit further, but you know, it's still got plenty of space. It is a little more compact, say, than a, than a Ford Escape, but there should be plenty of space here in the back for four comfortable people here sitting back or kids or anything like that. So as you can see, we got black headliner here. We got some lights, pretty simple. And of course we got that big, nice dash layout here with a big 15 inch screen here in the middle. So as we'll be heading up there in just a few moments, guys, but really cool what it, this is awesome interior and i love the copper stitches here with the suede it's really really cool uh, and of course we got our banging awesome system that's in this ford mach -E gt so all right guys, let's go ahead guys and uh, get to the front so all right let's go ahead and take a quick look at the front as you can see guys so let's go ahead up and up before you see, see the way this is assigned into the door we got a little button and you have a little bit of a handle there to push the door out it's kind of interesting design that ford put on this one so let's go ahead guys and we're gonna give it a couple of uh tucks on that lever and uh, coming here to the front we're just gonna raise the hood up it's already put set now here we're here we got a front pretty good decent size of space up here as well as you can see so you got plenty of space here in the front to put some bags or some groceries something smaller but at least you got some sort of you know opening for for put a little bit of things as well so as you can see guys we got basically your windshield wipers here we also probably got brake fluid we also got by some sort of coolant so there's not very minimal liquids in this you know electric vehicles of course there's not much many of them basically just ac compressor all that kind of stuff but obviously it's still a really stick cool design uh, i really like it so simple you know these things are simple there's not much maintenance to them and it's awesome so, so there we go guys let's go ahead and uh, close the front and uh head inside all right guys let's go ahead guys and jump inside of this marquee so as you can see guys here we have the black onyx continuation of course we got some leather here we got the copper stitching which is really nice of this interior got controls for your windows and your mirrors and everything here also some memory seats for your seats so these are power seats guys so of course we got the leather cover steering wheel and we got the sun bar and all the dash layout here so let's let's go ahead guys and uh, jump inside all right, so we're inside of this Ford Mustang Mach-E GT's interior. Now, I really love the interior, guys. The design is really awesome. Very different from anything what Ford does. Visibility is fantastic. Obviously, we don't have the center to give you a little more lining, but that's okay. We have, of course, the sound bar here, which is really nice. That's basically all this cloth that's full of speakers. I really love the design. Obviously, we got the big 15 and a half inch screen here. We got a 12 inch screen here, or a 10 inch screen, excuse me, for the, uh, all your, basically, all your gauges. We got the speedometer, of course, you got the gauges, all the settings here for you, where you are, the range that you have. And as you can see, this has got 8,085 miles on it. It's still basically a brand new uh, Mach-E GT. So I'm not going to go into all the features, guys. But as you can see, guys, we got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This is basically the 15 and a half inch screen that Ford gives you in this all Mach-E. It's a standard. Now, this runs the latest Sync 4A system, of course. Now, of course, you got a little Mach-E there as well. It shows you all your settings on the camera. You can do all kinds of things. You know, it's really cool. Uh, you can do all kinds of, of course, we're not on drive modes. We got three drive modes. We got Whisper, Engage, and Unbrighted. I'm ready basically being the fastest, more sportiest settings, engage more like a regular, and of course, whisper is going to be quiet and relaxed. Not much swallow response. You got all kinds of information here you can see and do settings for your radio, all kinds of things you can set up. Now, if we go back, guys, here and go to that, of course, we go back to radio, phone, we got navigation system as well. All the latest, and all basically, this is all fully loaded, kind of, you know, in terms of. Um, all the features you can get on this Ford Marquis. Obviously, we got, do have heated front seats. We don't have any ventilators yet. Uh, of course, we got the parking brake, all the sensors, your hazards, and of course, you got my phone's charging here right now. We got two USB connections. A little more room here on the bottom as well. We got your glove box here, guys, so as you can see, and we got the AC outlets going. So, right now, we guess we got about 180, 80, 191 miles of range. Now, this has got an 88 kilowatt battery. This one, of course, gives you, they say, around 250 miles of range, obviously the highest uh, Maki gives you about 300 depending on the model of course if it's rear-wheel drive with extended uh, one motor with extended battery that gives you the most range this is being the performance GT model now of course this being the GT model you get about 250 miles now if you get the uh, the regular ones the depends give you up to 200 depending on the if it's a single motor if it's a dual motor and if you get the extended battery or not so but this one here the GTs comes with the fully extended battery all the both motors of course and the little more potent front engine that gives you the 480 horsepower 
power and 600 pound feet of torque. Of course, so. I love you know I love performance. This is more my type. But what I've heard, of course, these are one of the best seats here that we have. These seats are some of the best seats that Ford has done in a vehicle, and the performance is really cool. Um, uh, I am a big I'm, fan of the smoking tire. Matt Ferris, uh, you know, podcast in his channel, and he's driven one of these. He's got one of these for daily. Now, obviously. The thing about this electric vehicle city is the range. Of course, everybody's got the range anxiety, but I don't think within the city you'll be okay. There's a lot of people now with cars. Now, of course, they're now coming to plug in your car. That's another, uh, basically another discussion for another video. There is not such a great, you know, support. There is stations, but according to some of the people that I've heard, you know, of course, you got problems with fast uh, charging or you can't find a charger that works or you can't find a charging station at all. Somebody's there. It all depends on the situation where you are. But to travel in long distance is not the most easiest thing to do, but it is manageable, yes. Go ahead, you guys, and get to go ahead and drive this. And of course, we got no transmission. This is just a single speed electric motor. So we do have a little round down here to put it in gear. Now we're going to put now, of course, before we go, let's check out the reverse camera. As you can see, guys, this is backing up. We do have sensors and trajectory lines. The, you got a great camera that's very good quality in terms of the graphics. You can see you can also scoot, uh, basically uh, go down. Uh, but the graphics are really good plenty of visibility and it's got a pretty good screen here to see what's where you're backing into so let's go ahead and guys and get out of that put it in drive and let's go guys and go out for a drive and somebody coming here on the side so this is going to be my second time behind the wheel of a mach e gt i mean excuse me of a mach e uh, ford mustang mach e now the gt model this is the first time i'm behind the wheel i did do a, a slight video of one that was parked here that was being delivered to a customer that was my first time i did get in it now i'm going to get to drive one and i'm very excited because this is that's performance oriented with performance uh springs you know the bigger thicker the bigger tires obviously you got bigger brakes and uh so yeah this is more let's go ahead guys and i'll uh, get on it <laughs> oh yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah the acceleration of electric vehicles is just outrageously fast especially if you're not used to it it's crazy how these things accelerate and of course we got 600 pound feet of torque basically instantaneously which is something that if you have not experienced it's fantastic really really gets you up to you know really really wakes you up and it's pretty quick too um i've driven the ford lightning as well that is very quick as well um so wow this is just crazy now obviously this now as i was mentioning this mustang mach e gt is more performance oriented it's got a little stiffer suspension uh you got bigger brakes as i mentioned a bigger bigger uh, slightly bigger tire 235 millimeter michelin uh all, you know basically performance all seasons and uh yeah the brakes the handling is a sharper it's much more i would say track focused but like she guys telling me that i'm off the lane here just some of the construction but you got us all kinds of technology of course we got ford co-pilot assist 360 doing the job there telling me i'm out of my lane now you can switch that off as well which i'm going to do right now but uh yes the driving experience let's go ahead guys and give it a little bit of beans now i didn't want to encounter any type of law enforcement around here since we do have some sort of station here close to us but yeah this thing is just wow and let's do the brakes oh yeah oh yeah those brakes have some good power for sure they got good linear power now obviously sometimes driving this electric vehicles you get a weird sense of uh pedal feel uh which i've, I've encountered before but uh, this is not this has some really nice uh very very active uh brakes you know really got the, the path feels fantastic and it's got some good aggressive performance on it so yeah look at that guy just running the light very beautiful nice typical florida drivers here of course they don't care about the lights uh but we got a little bit of generator braking here as well um i'm gonna let this guy go a little bit there's nobody's coming but um yeah this thing is just a it's just a hood now we're gonna try to put it out a little bit but now we're gonna go and just holy shit <laughs> oh my god Woo, this thing is quick <laughs> wow it's a little rocket ship now of course this is no you know plate from tesla or a place that you know but wow this thing is just a rocket ship yeah the fantastic feeling of this now there's no noise which makes it really really awkward you feel like you're in some sort of a you know uh disney ride or something like that something like one of those roller coasters you know it just takes off and there's no noise which is crazy you know it's just it's just amazing how technology has advanced and this is just amazing acceleration to this thing now obviously the handling now obviously if you take off the wheel you got a little bit of generative braking it breaks by little by itself as you can see uh but you can just put your foot back on the gas and it goes really nice so handling wise now the steering has got a very direct feel to it not, not crazy feeling i mean it's not a ton of feeling to it but it does 
go where you point it to and it's very and you know, you can tell there's not much water well it's got a pretty good balance it feels very tucked onto the road it's got a you know it feels very um yeah it just definitely is the on the sportier side definitely the suspension is a little stiffer um definitely a sport suspension it is stiff on the road you feel a lot of the bumps and it is it is a little more uh not a soft for example i just got off of driving the um GMC Acadia, which has got a really soft, you know, very nice GT suspension or very torn suspension. This has got, you know, this is basically, you know, a sports, you know, sports suspension setting. Obviously, this is not a, this is a pretty heavy vehicle. It's about 5,000 pounds. So, uh, you know, obviously, you're going to feel the weight and the curves, but it, man, it is a quick. Let's go ahead and get this road a little bit here and see how it knocks. It does turn in. You can definitely feel the weight, but. But definitely, you know, just the acceleration on this is just, woof, man, it just accelerates so eagerly. And of course, we're in the unbridled, uh, we are on the unbridled setting, and it's just a super quick. So let's go ahead, guys, and I'm gonna come to a stop. There's nobody behind us here. And uh, there's a lot of stuff around, but I'm gonna see how this quick this thing just goes. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just stomp it. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Whoo! It's like a roller coaster. Holy crap. Super quick acceleration. Wow, this is a fun car. Definitely a fun car. Now, obviously, with me being a little bit heavy footed, I'm sure that battery isn't gonna last nowhere near 250 miles. Probably be closer to about 150 miles, come what I have. But, um, Fantastic guys. I mean, this thing just is awesome. Now, obviously, there's no place for me to test a little more of the curves, but just the feeling overall, it feels excellent. It feels very controllable. It feels very, you know, tucked onto the road. It's got excellent road feeling. Uh, very fun to drive. I really love this Mach -E GT. Uh, just basically what I was expecting. I drove the regular Mach -E with the dual motors, and that was quick, but this thing definitely feels more buttoned down in terms of performance, in terms of handling. The brakes have fantastic feeling. They're very prepared pretty good power to them so really really love this mach -E gt guys let me know guys let me know what you guys think uh of course this is an old, of course an older vehicle everybody's done a lot of testing this but being my first time it does feel fantastic driving this mach -E gt guys hope you guys uh, enjoy this type of content guys please subscribe support the channel if you like this type of content and and performance models i really love this thing it's really cool um fast definitely fast wow this thing is amazing it kind of got a light headed with that tick up from from zero so Let's go ahead, guys, and put the camera. Let's back up all the way down there. So you can see, guys, we got trajectory lines, and we just back up all the way back here. Really fantastic camera, as you can see, guys. So, but um, there we go, guys. Quick drive of this Ford Mustang Mach-E GT. Fast. It looks fantastic. Love the interiors. It's got the perfect size. Obviously, not many everybody's, you know, it's right now kind of in tune with an electric vehicle. I would certainly dig it. I can live with it. Obviously, just right now, of course, uh, you know, living with the way if you want to charge it some places, it might not be the easiest thing. Here in Florida, I really haven't experienced anything or talked to anybody who's done a lot of not Tesla related chargers, but other chargers from like Electrify America, something like that. It all depends on the network now being uh talking you know listening to matt ferris problems with uh, not the monkey itself but charging stations that you can't even you go to a station you know you expect it to be at 200 or at level two and expect it to be quick it's charging like at 25 percent that can definitely be a you know a bummer if you want to charge this thing quicker you have some range to go to obviously sometimes people don't have the time to you know wait for this type of cars to charge so if you especially if you're just going to plug it in at home like a charger like a you know like a cell phone or you have you know a higher you know basically you're thinking you can you can buy ford's charger for your house and make it quick but obviously you have to be home but you know it depends on what you're going to use it for but something like this for every day is fantastic it's fun super quick and uh, you know it's obviously uh, really great so ford gives you about eight years ten hundred thousand miles and a warranty on this batteries on this thing so i wouldn't really worry about that because obviously things you know it's going to be a different interesting story how these cars within a few years will be reliable in terms of battery how they're handling how are they holding up all that kind of thing but um i think overall of course it's got a great thing in their hands so i'm sure we're going to see more electric vehicles now i just driven of course the electric uh uh, the e transit is one as well you see it on the video already so i'm getting my hands on a lot of more of electric vehicles and it's a lot more videos coming up guys as well so thank you so much guys for watching i appreciate you guys uh, being here with me thank you so much for the subscribe guys if you have not if you have not done so please subscribe hit the like button i appreciate every one of you thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you guys on the next video take care Bye bye